Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel! Considered one of Africa's most mysterious corners, Namibia not only offers its visitors unique game viewing experience with the rare desert adapted species, but the country's flagship Etosha National Park is regarded by many safari aficionados as one of Africa's greatest wildlife reserves. So here are 10 most luxurious lodges in Namibia. Number 10. Hoanib Skeleton Camp, Western Namibia Remote and rugged are two words that best describe Hoanib Skeleton Coast Camp, which sits in a valley where the two tributaries of the dry Hoanib River meet. If viewed on a map, its location straddles the Palmwag area and the iconic Skeleton Coast National Park in the Kyokoveld area. The camp consists of several large tents and one family unit, each with a stylish bedroom and ensuite, and a shaded outdoor deck. Flanked to the east and west by rugged hills, the camp overlooks stunning, starkly beautiful scenery. It offers all the luxuries and amenities for an unforgettable stay. Nine. Sarah Kaithma Camp, Hartman Valley Imagine listening to gurgling river rapids, but you're in a desert. It's a surreal experience. The luxury lodge Sarea Kaithma is found in the extreme northwest of Namibia, on the banks of Kunene River. Set under shady albeda trees, this intimate camp is inspired by the area's Himba people and has a mix of rustic and luxurious elements. Eight riverside wood, canvas and thatch villas look over elevated desks for exceptional views. The indoor and outdoor dining areas, sunken lounge, library, curio shop and swimming pool all share views of the lush Kunene River. Now before we move on to number 8, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload from the luxury. Alright, so, at number 8 we have Susuvle Desert Lodge. Susuve with its towering red sand dunes is one of the most iconic places to visit in Namibia, and Kulala Desert Lodge is so close by. One of Namibia's top tourist attractions, Susuvle has the tallest sand dunes in the world. Set amidst these giant red dunes, this lodge has a total of 23 chalets named Kulalas, which means to sleep in Oshiwambo, a Namibian dialect. Each Kulala has sleep out decks on their roofs, so you can take in the vast desert skies. No visit to Namibia would be complete without a stop at Susuvle, and the Kulala Desert Lodge is ideal. Seven, Little Kulala, Kulala Wilderness Reserve. Situated in the private 67,000 acre Susuvle Reserve, this desert lodge has 11 air-conditioned thatch Kulalas, which merge impeccably into the desert landscape. The Kulalas each have a rooftop star bed, private plunge pool, and glass walls to let in those incredible desert views. Little Kulala's interiors make use of neutral colors and textures and natural light. Ulwadan's private camp. Nami Brand Nature Reserve. Imagine the Wild West was transported to Namibia, and that's what you experience at Wolwadan's private camp. Wake up surrounded by nothing but purple tinted mountains and rolling, soft yellow grass plains. There are no houses, towns, or people in sight. You spend your days in the sala having lazy siestas, 
sunbathing on one of the decks, or relaxing in the study, living room, dining area, or kitchen. From every open plan room, you can see the wide expanse around you. And this is pure relaxation. Five, the fort on Guma Game Reserve, Itosha National Park. The fort at Onguma Game Reserve is unlike any other luxury accommodation and the perfect spot to stop on any visit to Namibia. Here, you can pretend to be a sultan in the Namibian desert. Built on just the right spot to fully experience the epic sunset, the property overlooks the salty Itosha Pan and is made up of massive raw brick walls, stone cladding, and features its own tall tower with views towards Itosha and Fisher's Pan. There are surprises at every corner. The lodge has a bespoke African feel combined with a touch of Moroccan and Indian flavors with antique windows and doors. Four. Little Ongava, Itosha. Designed for privacy, exclusivity, and luxury, Little Ongava is also extremely close to the famous Itosha National Park. Set on a high hillside in the Ongava Game Reserve, the lodge has panoramic views over Namibia's plains. Meander through the plains on wooden boardwalks that lead over rocks and trees to the main lounge and dining area from one of the three secluded thatched bungalows. Each bungalow feels homely with a fireplace, a sitting room, private deck, infinity pool, and sala. It's pure indulgence indoors, surrounded by untamed nature outdoors. Skeleton Coast Flying Safaris, Skeleton Coast Park. The Skeleton Coast is a remote area filled with the stark beauty waiting to be discovered. Shipwrecks litter the beaches between Swakopmund and the Angolian border, which gives this piece of desert land its striking name. As there's little accommodation available here, we recommend doing a flying safari with the family-run Skeleton Coast Safari. Ranging from three to five days, the route takes you from Windhoek along the coastline up to the Kunene River, the northern border of Namibia, where you'll stop over at camps and remote lodges. Expect to see over 250 bird species, hyena, cape fur seals, jackals, gemsbok, kudu, and springbok, as well as desert adapted elephants and so much more. Two, Hoenib Valley Camp. A joint venture between the Kyoko Veld's local communities and the Giraffe Conservation Foundation, the world's most successful and long-running giraffe research organization. Hoenib Valley Camp is an elegant and intimate property where you can immerse yourself into one of Namibia's most remote and wild environments. This luxury safari camp is beautifully decorated with furniture made by the local Rundu carpenters and timber carvers. Despite its unbelievably remote location, there's still Wi-Fi connectivity throughout the camp. At number one, comes Desert Rhino Camp, Palm Wag Concession. The Desert Rhino Camp lies on the rolling rocky hills of the 450,000 hectare Palm Wag Concession. This region is marked by tranquil minimalist beauty and the large free roaming black rhino population of Africa. Set in a wide valley, 
The eight raised Maru-style canvas tents with front verandas take in views of ancient Welwitschita plants and the dramatic Etendeka Mountains. The luxury camp has a comfortable dining and lounge area that is also elevated with partially open sides for panoramic views, while swimming pools provide a fresh respite. We think this adventure is a must-have. When you have luxury lodges to stay in and witness new adventures, then what's stopping you? But that brings us to the end of today's video. Which one did you like the most? Well, do let us know in the comments down below. Anyway, thank you for watching. Be sure to leave a like to the video if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.